Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Haley. Today, I am super excited because we are starting to get into the holiday spirit because I have some lipsticks to review for you and uh, they're the ColourPop Rudolph lipsticks. You guys, I love Rudolph. I love the holidays. I love lipstick. It's everything I love all together. So if you want to see my first impressions on these products, just keep watching. I saw these online on ColourPop's website along with the palette and I was like, oh, should I buy them? I really, really wanted to buy them. Then I went to Target to pick up actually the Kelsey Ballerini shadows and I said, well, might as well go look at the rest of the makeup section. Right out front and center was this entire collection, which I was really surprised because the Target ColourPop stuff is a little bit different for the most part than the website stuff. So I was really, really excited. I looked at the palette and the palette is so cute and the shade names are so cute, but I just thought realistically, I wasn't going to use it that much. So I was like, no, if it's a palette, it needs to be, I'm gonna actually use it. So I went with the lipsticks instead and I bought both of them. They are $16 each on ColourPop's website, but they're actually sold out on ColourPop's website. So I highly recommend going to Target because they did have them, but it was literally the day after they announced that they were coming out. So I don't know if the lipsticks are a relaunch. I know the palette is. I, I'm not too sure about that. I'd have to do some research. You guys would probably know better than me, but I'm excited. You can buy these also as like a duo on ColourPop's website. I'm not sure if that is sold out, but the individual ones seem to be. Let's see, and it says, Swipe on the perfect pout with our matching lippy pencil and the Lux lipstick in the perfect holiday cranberry red shade. So that's this one here, the I think you're cute, the Rudolph one. And let's see, the other one says, swipe on the perfect pout with our matching lippy pencil and Lux lipstick in the perfect warm peachy nude shade. So the, it's a red one and a nude one. And one is supposed to be Rudolph. The, obviously the red one is Rudolph. And the nude one is Clarice. And I love these names too, because they are just so cute. The funny thing though, is that the actual names are both said by Clarice because the nude one is, I think you're cute. And later on he says like, she thinks I'm cute, right? And then the other one is, there's always tomorrow, which is the song that Clarice sings to Rudolph. There's always tomorrow for dreams to come true. Right, that's the song. I love Rudolph, you guys. I seriously had to have a lot of restraint not you know, buying this entire collection. But you guys know lipstick is my thing, so I just had to do it. Let's start with, I've never tried this ColourPop formula. I think this is a normal formula for them. I've only tried like the lippy sticks. Let's see, let's do the nude shade first and I'm gonna swatch, ooh, ooh. This is a pretty nude lip liner shade. That's nice. And then let's swatch the actual lipstick. Also look at how cutely, like this is like, embossed with stuff, little snowflakes. It's super cute, I like the attention to detail. Okay, so the actual lipstick is significantly lighter than the lip liner. I really like the lip liner. I feel like you could use that with a lot of different nude shades. And this is definitely a creamy formula. It's, it's not gonna be matte and that's okay. Matte is my favorite, but that's all right. Let's start with the lip liner. Wow, that, this liner is just gliding on too. This is really pretty. I feel like this could be worth it just for the liner. Okay, lip liner is on. That's gorgeous. And let's try the lipstick here. Hmm, this has a really subtle fragrance. Not Christmassy though. It smells sweet, but it doesn't smell Christmassy to me. My first thought was like kind of fruity. Definitely an everyday nude kind of shade. Wow, I'm really impressed. When it said peachy nude and then I swatched it on my hand, I was a little bit worried, but actually on the lips with my skin tone, it just looks like a really pretty like everyday nude kind of shade. It does lean a little more peachy, but it's not overly peachy. I was worried it would be like a little too warm. It's kind of funny how peachy can either lean warm or cool. It's kind of having a little bit of a hard time sticking to the inside of my lip, like here. This is nice. What is this here? Oh my gosh, you guys. Did I not blend out? I think that I didn't blend out my contour here. I think I forgot. 
Oh my gosh, how did I do that? I really like this. That lip liner is awesome and the lipstick's definitely an everyday kind of nude lipstick. Oh, uh, this is gonna be one of those things of where I feel like I feel like I should display it, but I don't know how. You know what I mean? Right now I'm gonna use a makeup remover wipe to take this off. And we're gonna go with the red shade. Now we have the other set, which this is a dark red shade. I did open this. This is the one, it's the Rudolph one, and it's called There's Always Tomorrow. Let's start with the lip liner. I'm just gonna leave it swatched next to the, whoa, wow, I love how pigmented these liners are. Wow, that's beautiful. That would actually work with a lot of red shades too. I'm excited. So let's start with that. Wow, this is one of the best lip liner formulas I've ever used. I can say that right off the bat. It just glides on. No skipping, super pigmented. Lips are filled in. I will say for as much as I love lipstick, I'm not the most talented at putting on liner. So we're just gonna put the lipstick over it and see how it looks. Okay, we're gonna swatch this lipstick. Super pretty, same kind of like embossing of the snowflakes. Oh, this is actually not as dark as it looks. This is really pretty. This is like a cranberry shade. Actually, this is gorgeous from like fall into winter. That's beautiful. Okay, I'm excited. Wow. Wow, this lipstick also just really glides on. Wow, this is really pretty. I feel like I've kind of moved a little bit away from berry tones, but this is just gorgeous. I wanna just fix this lip line just a little bit. It's a fun trick I have is just kind of taking the side of your beauty sponge. I'm sure other people do that too, but that's kind of my little trick to even out the lip lines just a little bit. Wow, this is so pretty. And with that eyeshadow too, that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted like a beautiful holiday eye and holiday lip. I'm gonna leave this on. I love both of these. Honestly, it would be worth it for the lip liners alone because these liners are awesome. Sorry, I feel like I had to move the camera a little bit. I'm telling you, my filming setup, it just sometimes like slowly starts to go that way. I'm sorry if you saw that. But yeah, anyway, like I was saying, the price would be worth it just for the lip liners because they're awesome. They're super pigmented. They really glide on. Um, they were easy to fix when I did get them a little out of the lines because I'm not super talented at lip liner. And also both of these lip liners are just gorgeous shades i mean the nude is perfect for every day this red would be perfect with any red shade i'm sure just the tone of it is gorgeous and then you have these lipsticks which i think the red one i thought i'd like the nude one better but i think i actually like the red one better i think it's a really really pretty cranberry tone that like i said is perfect for fall and winter and i love the nude one too because the nude one is perfect for every day i mean they're both gorgeous so i feel like i would recommend them both if you can get the duo on ColourPop's website, you probably could save a little money, but I don't feel like I paid a crazy amount for them on Target's website either. If I can find these available, I'll link them below. I hope they come back into stock. I think this is just gorgeous. I love the lipsticks too because they're creamy and they have a sheen to them, but the sheen is not too much. Sometimes it can be a little bit too much, at least for me, because I prefer matte lips. These have a sheen, but it's like just enough. They almost kind of dry down a little bit to your lips, not to like a true matte, but to a point where it doesn't feel like, obviously they're gonna come off because they're a cream, but they're not gonna like slide around everywhere, especially with that lip liner. So I am quite happy with the formula of these two. If you enjoyed this video, I hope that you will subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, I hope you hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. And I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Love you guys, bye.